Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and I want to talk to you about Green Chef, baby. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. In honor of Earth Month, we're offering a collection of brand new, limited time only recipes, earth friendly ingredients all through the month of April. It's stuff like sustainably sourced seafood, organic proteins, produce, and eggs. It's really cool because even if it's not Earth Planet time to celebrate, Green Chef has packaging that really offsets its carbon footprint. It's all recyclable. It's broken down into the environment, materials that have been used and will be used again. I love Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use the code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use the code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. So, hey, hey, gal. I'm back from Australia. Welcome back from Australia. You did it. Fucking all seas. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. How was it? A scale of, um, um, yeah. uh, (laughs) It was short, but intense. It felt like you were there forever. It was, I got to, I got to Perth and it was a little bit, you would have hated it because it was a tease. It was a tease because at first I had a day off, one show in Perth and then four days off, three days off. Oh, that's because you can't do weekday shows there. Right. For, well, you can't do them for a disco, too. It's a party. Oh, yeah. It's Wednesday a dance night party. disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then the following weekend, it was um, Wednesday, Melbourne. Okay. Thursday, Melbourne. Friday, Adelaide. Saturday, Bris Vegas. And then Sunday, Sydney. And I took an after party. So there was two shows oh, Sunday. And I want to talk. I know we talk a lot about heat. And air conditioning. Oh, mama. I, I I was looking at your little videos online. I Honey was like, baby Ooh, darling. this is Schindler's List. Honey baby darling. When I'm sweating, when my makeup is gone, I'm wearing the one size no sweat primer. I'm wearing setting spray. I'm wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder, which I think is one of the most absorbing powders is there really? is. And Nothing. when I, two hours of DJing, and I don't just DJ. You dance around. Go watch clips. I know, I see it. I'm thrashing. Yeah. I burned more calories DJing than I did during Trixie and Katya. Yeah, I lost weight on that tour. Damn. That's how much burn and sweat. And I come off stage and Brandon would go, Brandon would go, sweat is just fat crying. That's and I go, thank say. you so much. That's what they used to say. I don't know. Well, I a, cry a, a lot and that sandwich. my fat cries a lot. Ultra body fitness, that, that gym I used to go to had a, a sandwich sign that said the same thing outside of it. Yeah. I'm yeah. also traveling with Matteo Sagatti, good friend, friend of the pod. Are you really? Yeah. So he, oh, that's so fun. He opens for the first two hours while people are filing in and drinking. And what, what does he play? Polka? Um, pretty uh, much all aggressive German polka. <laughs> it, dr- drums and bass. Have you ever heard drums and bass music? Drums and bass. Absolutely. It's it's, it's, it's like it's the twin. sound of an anxiety attack. I can't stand drums and bass, and I love everyone. I'm happy for everyone. I can't stand. Is drums it drum and bass. bass or drums and bass? Drum and bass. Drum and bass. I can't stand it. It's okay. so obnoxious to me. Okay. It's it's like it's a very '90s thing. It's crazy. I feel like it's '90s. Frenetic, insane. Frenetic. But Matteo, he's playing, and he's warming him up, and it's all like also it's for somebody me to have a veteran of like 20 years in dance music open for me. I'm already like, oh my god, thank you so much for stooping to the level of opening for a person in a wig. Yeah. But he, he's fun to travel with, but he's 47. Never forget it. Never forget never it. Never forget it. We're, you know, he's never been to Australia either. Never forget it. And he has a broken ankle because he broke his ankle a couple weeks ago. So that. he's he is my um, my invalid daughter. Your invalid, do- uh, well, your invalid grandmother. He's my invalid grandmother. <laughs> um, so like, Fuck. you know, traveling, I'm so used to traveling abroad. I fly through that airport. I have yeah. horse blinders on, headphones in. I don't you care. You leave them in the dust. Mateo was the daughter left at the <sighs> altar at every airport. And I, I got used to kind of grabbing him and bringing him. Because he doesn't travel? Not like where he goes through immigration knowing exactly what's going on. Who knows what's going on through immigration? So the immigration. first day of immigration, Just... he comes up and goes, thanks for waiting for me. And I go, okay, I'll wait for you. I'll definitely <laughs> wait for you. Wow. Um, what a great host you are. He, he had a blast. He also texts a lot, but he's more prone to video. Okay. So all day on the WhatsApp, I'm getting minute or two long. Uh, oh, no. I, I said, let's get you a little journal, honey. Let's get you a little, let's get <laughs> you, you a little diary. Do you do that in the voice notes? That's something I do not feature at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, is this Brad GPG in Brazil? <laughs> I can't Brazil, stand Brazil, like, yeah, no. the vo- the vo- Brazil, they love voice notes. Love it. I don't love know it. why. I think it's also just every everywhere besides America. But also... Famous people love voice notes. Why? These are the people that send me voice. I mean, Elizabeth Hurley. All the voice notes I've ever gotten have been from Brittany Broski, James Charles, like anybody YouTube famous. Yeah. Hi, they Trixie. love voice notes. 
Manny MUA. Is it because they're like doing stuff with their fingers? They're otherwise occupied, maybe? Gigi Gorgeous. These are the people that send me voice notes. All makeup YouTube people. And it needs to stop. Stop. Well, it's probably because they're doing their makeup. Who's that woman that's that politician who's like, stop right there? Marianne Williamson. Her. Yeah. Let Um, love in. By the way, uh, it was just so fun. And I. I gotta tell you, I don't want to be. I, I, I don't like gratitude because I think it's cheesy. <laughs> but no, it's I'm good. up there. There's You're thousands grateful. of people there. The lights are pink. There's pink balloons dropping, pink confetti. I'm playing remixes of ABBA, and it's all women and faggots thrashing, thrashing in pink makeup. <laughs> and people are dressed in pink. Everyone dress code. Strict. Everyone. Okay. I told people even if they have tickets to turn them away at the door if they don't have pink. Yeah, I said refund him at the door and send him out of here. That because it's very, I don't think I'm asking a lot. I don't think I'm asking a lot. I don't think she's asking a lot either. I don't know. I don't. $5 pink t-shirt. So Wear anything. If pink. I, if so like, if I went and I didn't have pink on, would you throw me away? Push me so away? I told him to do. Okay. But I don't think they actually did it. I would pull out my pants and show them my little pink pecker. It's to me, it's the equivalent of going to a Halloween party, not in a costume. Get out of here. Right. Get just, out yeah, of yeah. here. That's true. It's true. It's right. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's like if I'm in drag, it's like I'm erect. Why aren't you erect? <laughs> like if I'm in a corset, by the way, me corseted with my big show pads on yeah. in that giant Christina Aguilera wig. I love that. The sweat. Well, I took that costume so off and it sounded like um, I was a fisherman who accidentally caught an octopus and wet, dropped it on the poop mud. deck. Yeah. <laughs> wet, wet, wet mud. mud. <laughs> Disgusting. But I had so much fun. I'm up there and I'm, the lights are, I'm just looking up and I'm thinking, this is what drugs feel like. Yeah. Like I was having so much fun. My heart is pounding because I'm not just excited. I'm dancing. <laughs> oh, that's I thought, right. I better, I'm going to pass out. I better slow down. I That'd was so that fierce. winded. A murder on the dance floor. Yeah. Like, thank God I do cardio because I was like, (sighs) oh, yeah, you'd be like, you'd be, you probably would pass out heat exhaustion, dehydration. I'm trying to kick higher than I can. So I'm like, oh, kick with you. I'm trying to like, Uh and I'm like, the knee pops off, you know, like it was. (laughs) What kind of shoe we got on? Heels. Are you fucking kidding me? Heels, honey. Why? Well, I have my little pumps on. I have reveals. There's costume reveals. Okay, but why the heels behind behind the the decks? I hold up a pair of pink Crocs and everyone cheers. Okay. And then I held up my pumps. I thought they'll probably want me to stay in the pumps. You let them decide? And then they clap for the pumps. Then I hold up the Crocs. They scream. Then I hold the pumps. Then silent. They want the Crocs. They want the Crocs. They They want want the comfort. walks in Crocs. They want comfort in casual coolness. Yeah. So then I put the heels on the table. I put the Croc on and lift the leg up and they go wild. They love the Croc. They love it. They can't get enough of the croc. Because you know what, though? If you're going to a dance party, I love a fun shoe. Get something you can move in. Get something you can move in. Mary, okay, please, pop divas. I I know, I I, I understand that the the line of the high heel is very seductive, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I want to go back to, like, what is it, 2000, late 90s or whatever, when Britney was doing her thing. Sneakers, pop, 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 pop. Sneakers. Flat shoes, sneakers. Yeah. She could really move around. Yeah. I don't want anybody hobbling around in these heels. It's not good for you. I think it's not good for you. Some people wear, Billie Eilish is going to wear sneakers. Okay, good. I think Normani has sneakers we, on in that one video. Okay, we got to get Beyonce on board though. With the sneakers? Yes. We got to get Beyonce on board. Let's get her a croc. Well, she's already almost there. She's doing a little go-go booty with like a little fur, like that homecoming. Like she Tyra. Had the- Sneak on, say. <laughs> What's your favorite yeah. sneaker? <laughs> Our thread on, say. If, if your feet hurt. If I were a hoy. I heard you like to take vacations on boats. <laughs> she that is really such a crazy sta- She really Seance. said, if do I were in Tolstoy, ghost? can you do a Russian accent? <laughs> Unhinged. Mary. I don't think she ever did an interview again after that. Well, we shouldn't judge the Tyra show today the way, based on the lenses of today, because we're gonna, you're going to be disappointed. If you go back and watch like Top Model, and you go with the lenses of today, oh. you will be disappointed. I don't think they dress be... like homeless people for a shoot. Oh no, no, no. I, I was just gonna say disappointed. You'll be shocked, shocked, yeah, shocked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ch- Tyra, I mean, there were in her talk show. She put on a fat suit to Mary. see how it. I mean, I remember watching that. It was like this is wild. Yeah, and if you drag somebody online for like Tyra for some shit they did what three decades ago, it's not the serve you think it is. Because guess what? We all agree it's whack. Right. You're not like it's not a hot take. Right. Then you got to come for Gwynny. In her shallow how fat suit. You know what I mean? Did you see at that trial when she won, she stopped by and put her hand on the guy's shoulder and said, I wish, I wish you the best. Yeah, yeah, I wish yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah. Classy. Because she they was wasted a class her act. time. Yeah. She could have been like, um, uh, 
Naomi Campbell when she's like, I don't even want to be yeah, here. Yeah. I'm made to be Honestly, here. Honestly, I'm made to be here. This is a complete waste of time. Yeah, that was that was so fierce. Serve. She was she was I thought she looked fabulous. Yeah, of course. And like she, that was at stake. I don't know. I think she's gonna dollar. her dumpy frumpy though is a serve. I know. There was no way that wasn't gonna turn out for her. I know. Speaking of dumpy frumpy, I got a PR, P, PRP. PRP. Is I it Platelet rich plasma, or is it plasma resurfacing? What does it stand for? It's basically microneedling. That's why my face looks like this. Let's get up in the gig. Yeah, get up in the gig. Can they have it? You can see my my oh, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My skin bounces back pretty fast. Yeah. He goes, "Wow, your skin is not sensitive at all." And I said, "Well, you should see what I do to it every, every other day." Yeah. Every day. Every day. I'm so, used to shave. It. By the way, my facial hair has been coming in stronger. Ooh, when I, I shave that. every day now, no, it's not the tea. I'm putting makeup over scabs. I know, no, Mama, I know scabs. It's nothing like doing the fresh um, shave down, then another shave up, and then having to uh, smash blood. foundation into blood. And for what? Blood, just to and look like what? a girl and for like what? a woman, so someone can fuck my titties. So some some fucking teenage girl from Ohio can think I'm pretty. Mm-hmm. For what, Mary? For what? You know what else though? I I picked. Wait, wait. So wait, you said that the wasn't the plasma this time? Oh yeah, this time it was antiage, which normally they take my blood, they spin it, they yeah. separate the plasma, yeah. and they basically the way the facial works is they wound your face with needles all over. They wound. They get your body to go into oh we need to repair this wound mode on your and face. And then they splash the and plasma they massage on your there. own plasma into it so that it comes back younger, tighter, yeah. fresher. Yeah. This time, instead of using my plasma and having to take my blood, they used antiage, which is a stem cell a stool sample. thing. They spin the stool, right? And they separate the diarrhea from the yeah, solids. Yeah, sorry. Ross, shit they... on my face. That's oh, okay. what yeah, 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 yeah. They used antiage, which he said does the same thing, but you don't have to take the blood. So this time, I, and I hate them having to take the blood. I hate that more than you the facial. Do. Really? Yeah, I hate it. Why? It's just a needle. I don't know. I mean, I mean yeah. Do you look or do you look away? Of course. Of course what? I'm not watching. I know. I look away too. You have to look away. I know. I know. Because of course I say like, I can handle it, but I bet you I'm one of those people. It's like, anyway, how was your... Because <laughs> people do just get uh, no, flued out. They get flued out. Flued out. <laughs> they get all expenses is paid for. They get flued out of their body. They get flued out. They pass out. I get passed out. <laughs> the Spanish flued. Um, so oh it God. hurts, but you know, after we've been touring since March mm-hmm. and I, you need a few days you off. You need a tune up, honey. And you need a few days off makeup to do it. Yeah. I haven't had four days off makeup since March yeah. of last year. So I just, I was you supposed to do YouTube do with Brittany Broski yesterday and I, and I texted her. I said, no. I have to take off and I have to get my face fucking needled. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I know the, the nurse that I saw, she has, she's 47, Lori Ottinger, RN, 47 years old. Her skin looks like a baby's ass. A baby. Like a baby's ass. My skin got, Ross, I'm just, I don't want to, well, maybe Ross Callahan. Yeah, sure. Yeah, He's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Skincare okay. whiz on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about his skin and he just looks like a, Ken doll, of yeah. course. His face is. If you do skin for a living, yeah. you're gonna look yeah. turned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, "Yeah, I got it." He says, "It didn't do much because there's not really left to improve." And he meant it like I've improved my skin to the point of yeah, it, it is what it is, Mary. Yeah, I mean, and you it can. wasn't bragging. It was more like you're gonna see more results than me because my skin was already there because <laughs> i was already that girl that girl and you're not that type of girl you're an old maiden, maiden type of girl, girl. So, so and he was honest and he was right i mean well he, sure he's poreless and i looked yeah. like a kitchen sponge with lashes you look like yeah you, oh yeah you look like a um oh uh, well do you feel do you does it tight so tight that it feels like your skin is like a, a drum right now it feels like a sunburn oh, oh really everything feels like tight and dry do they give you a little, uh, oh, he wasn't plasma. The first day you're not allowed auntie. to do anything. The like, first day you're not allowed to do anything. What do you mean? Not wash your face, not anything. Right. The second day, you're allowed to do Evian spray. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and I want to talk to you about Green Chef, baby. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. I have been turning everyone on. I was just in Australia. Well, turning them on to Green Chef, not turning them on. I was just in Australia and I was telling people about, I was talking to somebody I was tweeting with about cooking and they were like, I wish I could cook. And I said, well, guess where I learned to cook, bitch? I learned on Green Chef. So in honor of Earth Month, we're offering a collection of brand new limited time only recipes, earth friendly ingredients all through the month of April. It's stuff like sustainably sourced seafood, organic proteins, produce and eggs. It's really cool because even if it's not 
Earth planet time to celebrate. Green Chef has packaging that really offsets its carbon footprint. It's all recyclable. It's broken down into the environment. Materials that have been used and will be used again. I love Green Chef. I have had Green Chef all year for like four years, and it has made me now, somebody who lives with a partner and has to cook for someone, my God, the level of confidence, so good. And David, he's not even a vegetarian, and when I cook these Green Chef meals, even a person who eats meat finds the vegetarian Green Chef meals very fulfilling. There's options for every lifestyle. If you're not vegetarian, they have keto, protein-packed, vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. And like I said, it's Earth Month, but it's sustainable all year with Green Chef because with Green Chef, you're reducing your food waste by up to 23%. It's really, really cool. And it brings so much more flavor to the way I cook. There's stuff I would, I would never pick up rainbow carrots. I would just get regular carrots. But like with Green Chef, I'm trying ingredients for meals that I would have never picked. I can't believe I'm somebody who like is passionate about garbanzo beans, bitch, but that's where I'm at. Oh my God, I can't even tell you about this broccoli cheese soup that I made. Not to be dumb, I wouldn't even know where to begin when it comes to making soup if it doesn't come from a box or a can. I couldn't believe I made it from scratch. Could not believe it. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use the code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use the code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. It's tax season here in the U.S. Now, whoever said nothing is certain except death and taxes obviously did not have any body hair or odors. Because I can tell you that every day I am absolutely certain that I have to manage my facial hair and put on deodorant. If you can relate, then join the 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Manscaped's products have seriously enhanced my routine and made me more confident. I used to stand in the mirror and nitpick all of my flaws, but thanks to Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, I feel beautiful, hot, fly, sexy, and gorgeous in and out of drag. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is the star of the show. She's the waterproof diva with an LED light to get you the most precise shave. And say hello to the new Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer, cordless, rechargeable, and She's got skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs. Also, please, I beg you to check out the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver to keep your balls fresh and moisturized. And if you have a beard, call me, but also look out for Manscaped's brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit with 9 Plus products plus wet goods for everything you need to craft your signature look. While you can't avoid death, taxes, or 5 o'clock shadow, you can get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code BALD at manscaped.com. Don't just get your money back this year. Get your swagger back too with Manscaped. Remember in Triangle of Sadness when they're eating this? Uh, no, but I do remember when the woman is pissing, um, no, shitting, pissing, and puking on the floor at the same time, rolling around from side the to fl- side. I thought of the you. The Russian lady. I thought of you. That was me, mama. I, I was thought me. of you. I was the stunt double. Did I you did love a pro it? Bono. I watched that on the plane. I loved that. That scene in particular. Oh, that was very your tea. Oh, I loved. Yeah, loved. very your Did tea. you like that movie? It was um, kind of plotless, a little meandering. Entirely meandering. Yeah, there's two separate movies that had I no plot. I kept waiting for some massive payoff. Yeah. Well, love really the ship know. sinking. I love yeah. rich people going down. Of course, it's like, it's a critique on wealth and like, whatever. <laughs> um, but like, then that woman dies. Yeah. Wait, which one? The woman with the, the shit girl. and piss and the puke. Oh, yeah, she did. She goes, yeah. Yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs> um, did you love? I love the scene where the woman's like, one for you, one for me. And she's like, oh, no, she's no, like, mama, I'm the yeah, captain yeah. here. There, I clean toilets. Here, I'm the captain. Because I know how to Who's fish. Who's the captain? It was sickening. It was sickening. And that guy she let eating her pussy for it. shrimp? Oh, yes. He was the little um, lover. Oh, lover boy. Yeah, you want a little fish for stick? soft shell crab. <laughs> love it. Crab Rangoon. Yeah. Yeah. It was I scarce. loved it. I, I didn't love the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was fine. I, I, yeah. I mean, it was kind of like a mood piece. It was one of those movies where I know that I'm supposed to like this but I don't like this quality of film. Like, like you don't have to you know like I mean? anything. You don't, you don't have to like anything. I, cause I feel like some of the, the prestige films, I'm like, I see what you're trying to do here. That's the problem. I'm yeah. like, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flood to the cinema to watch oh. tar. That's not gonna okay. happen for me. So no, I'm no. over here see, and I'm over here watching transformers. You know what but, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's I'm fine. low level <laughs> IQ. Okay? No, no. okay. I tried to watch after sun. Cause it got great glowing reviews of that beautiful Paul Mescal. Mama, 
Snoozerama. Who's like, Paul Mescal? This gorgeous, lovely actor who was nominated for an Oscar. You better believe 10 minutes into this program, I was Snoozerama. I was out. Like, and I tried it and I tried it and I thought, this is deadly boring. Yeah. Is something wrong with me? Is this, de- is this deadly boring? Last night I watched Paramount Activity, the original. Yeah. Um, I just got a hankering to watch it. Okay. Is and it good? Of this course. It's a lot of footage, it's though. Things terrible. shaken. It's very scary. Is it really? I think that movie is so scary. Who is the? Is it a ghost? Well, it's all like, um, the point of the movie is it's like you're watching uh, home footage of this guy starts filming when his wife starts getting haunted. Okay. Because, and basically, it is scary. It okay. scares me every time I watch okay. it. Okay. But David didn't want me to watch it because David is scared of the ghosts in our house. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, the other night I saw one. Okay. What? So you know how I have sensitivity. Uh, yes, I do. You can I, all make fun of me. No, I don't care. I'm not, whatever. Listen, I'm no, I'm gonna treat this like it's hundred percent fact. Tell me. But sometimes I know stuff. All right. I'm gonna <laughs> say it was like an imprint, okay? It wasn't like a it wasn't like an outline of a person. It was it was like I I know I know like something. You saw there. the butt print on the chair. No, it wasn't like a movie where it was like a handprint there. It wasn't the sixth sense. No, 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 we're no, not no, doing no. we're it not doing like M Night Shyamalan. We're doing okay. real. Okay. I'm in bed the other night. We're and doing I'm, Jane Eyre. And you could say, Oh yeah, you were probably dozing off. Sure. But no, I woke up, I looked over and I, th- I just went and I looked in the doorway. It's from asleep. Woke up and looked in the doorway and David goes, what is it? And I said, you don't want to know because he's he gets scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would he goes, get what is it? I said, I'll tell you tomorrow because you don't want to know. Well, that's not very helpful. And then he went back to sleep and oh. the next day he's like, what, did, what was it? And I said, it was I Abraham saw a guy Lincoln. in our house. What did he look said, like? Long, dark hair about here with a mustache and a little goatee. Oh, I don't like that. I said he was just in the doorway. I said I wasn't scared, but I saw him, and that's it. Wait, are you are you I'm serious? Dead serious? So then I said oh. it's fine. I said I wasn't scared. I said it just scared me because it's a. I said are he's you? like you saw it, and I said it's not like I saw it, but I knew what I was looking at. It was like oh, that's right there, and I know what the person looks like. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? In the doorway of our bed? No, no, no. I wasn't paralyzed. I was sitting up watching. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, um, I sat up and went. Yeah, and as soon as I sat up and went, I saw it, and then he goes, "What is it?" And I was like, "You don't want to know." So now he doesn't want me watching ghost stuff in our house because he thinks too bad. I just watched the movie Ghost the other day. Otome Brown. You want to kiss my butt? You want to kiss my butt? (laughs) Sam, Sam, wait! I signed the wrong name. (laughs) Gas. That scene in the bank. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. What be? Didn't she leave the view? Um, Isn't she done now? She won an Oscar for that role, I believe. She deserved it. Best supporting it. actress. Yeah, she deserved she it. She ate and shat all over yeah. that role. Amazing. Yeah. Demi Moore, lovely, but... She does good. No. She did a good job. She did a good job. Um, but damn. Um, Tony, um, I would fuck that Carl. Carl, the, the, the friend, the villain. I would fuck that man the way I would fuck him. Mm-hmm. The way that I would take that villainous dick and shove it right up my pussoa. Really? Yeah. You think those things are scary? That shadows that grab them? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. A little cheesy on the effects, but hey, it was the '90s. Were the '80s? It's a very sad movie. It's the very end sad. when he says bye. She says bye to him. Yeah. It's very sad. It's very sad. Very jealous. Very sad. <laughs> Wait, the, do you remember the train hopper? Get off my train! Just one drag. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Why are you hounding? Oh, so good. Why are you hounding yeah, me? Yeah. So good. Oh, and then Barbarian, of course. We watched it again. You watched it again? Yeah. Do you love the tea? Boop, 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 boop. Do you like it? like, she wants you to drink. Yeah, drink it. You're boop, a beer baby. Boop, 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 boop. Would you have drank it? I would have sucked that nasty titty. Yeah, of course. What's, what are you going to do? Throw up? Do you know how long it took me to understand that the flashbacks were flashbacks? How long? A lot of the movie. Really? What did you think they were? Just like I thought another... it was something mystical, like, oh, no one else sees this neighborhood for, for what it is. Oh, okay. A shitty neighborhood. And it took me later, I was like, oh, this is time has gone, ba- gone by. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, love it. I, she was fierce. Which, she, I mean, spoilers. I, I mean, we already talked about this movie, but that first sort of vignette, uh-huh. it, is so, it is set up so well, and then bam, 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 Very and then scary. jam. And the guy, the Pennywise guy. Oh yeah, yeah. What a lovely, what a lovely film. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, um, I I went through a lot on tour as far as um, people holding up phones with words on them. Oh, DJ requests, requests, but also comments, concerns, local local references, yeah. the weather. Yeah, stop doing yeah. that. Bar- barometric stop doing that. pressure. I tell you what, dew point. You can all put me in jail. I'm not playing your song. No, 
that's your whole job is to select the songs. You I don't need these, any help. And also, I brought these songs on this flash drive. Yeah. This is what I have. Yeah. This is what I have. Yeah. We're not playing Let Loose. No. It's We're not, not. It's not um it's not a John Cage improvisational structure. Yeah, and of course it's like, "Oh, can you play the Rusical from season 10?" What? Yeah, people ask people can requesting you play the like Drag Hot Race Pockets songs. commercial. Go get out of here. I brought this VCR of a Hot Pockets commercial. This is a fucking <laughs> faggot event. It's not Build a Bear Mama. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. It's just not a collage. We're not in kindergarten. It's not interpretive art. It's there you not go. it's not collaborative. Oh, speaking of which, guess what I did? I did a talk in my alma mater. Oh, wait a minute. You went to Boston? Yeah, I went to Boston. Last week? Yeah. Last what weekend. Happened? Oh my god, it was wild. So alma mater, I just figured out means nourishing mother, by the way. And um, it, so I went to my old department. They had an, uh, like an event. Boop, 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 boop. And I, I, I got up on stage and I was like, <laughs> You were the nourishing mother. And then I made them all suck from my from gray tit. tit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was, uh, I, it was cool. My old, um, one of my old professors like did a Q&A with me and they just chatted with um, the, it was so fun. I got to see all my old. Um, what kind of questions did they ask? They asked like, um, how did you get your legs so long? That's um, mommy. Um, uh, yes, they did. They want to fuck well, me? I talked about you. They want to fuck me? Yeah, they pretty much all want to fuck you, but yeah. they're too afraid of what it might do to them. Be you. Be, no, no, this is mass art. Oh, mass, mass art. art. Yeah. And I got to, um, and then I got to like uh, hang out with an old girlfriend. It was just lovely. We went out to dinner. It was a whole thing. It was a whole Boston thing. It was lovely. Do you lovely. like to go back to Boston and visit? Um, for these little tiny little nuggets, yeah, it's but it's cold, bitch. Girl. It's cold and nasty and rotten. I know. You know what though? Not to be, I'm ready for this shit to end. What? Oh, this, this gloom, gray, rainy this doom shit. And gloom, yeah. I think I have water damage in my house. Ugh. I do too. I can't stand I have it. it. In the, I have it in the first floor. What am I supposed to do? You have to bulldoze the whole thing. Got to move. David said, "Go out to the guest house and try to open the door." Yeah. And I said, "He said to think the floor is warped." Great. The floor is warped in my bathroom and then downstairs in my little gym. It sounds so bougie. It's all, I think there's mold, mama. M O L D. You've had a good run, though. Let the black I'm, mold in. That's why I go down there and I, I scrape some off and I put on my Cheerios in the morning. But is this the area where you pissed yourself on purpose? Um, No. Okay. No, Different no, no, area. No. Yeah. I don't, mama, I'm gross, but I don't mix piss and mold. I'm not an animal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get that right. That would be disgusting. That would be disgusting. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Hold up. Remix. Oh, my face. It's starting to itch. Oh, oh don't touch it's it. It's in like the itching phase. You're like not allowed healing. to put in a, like a little. <sighs> yeah, missed it. Missed it, mama. Missed it. Misty, Misty May. You know what else? What? I think Vanity's been really open about her. Her what? She got a little. Oh, yeah, her um, BBL. Her lipo. Her surge. Her sex change. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What What do you mean? What, what What's the point here? The envy. Oh, because she's so snatched. Mama. She looks. These little Barbie outfits. She uh, puts on a little shaper, just a little, just a little shaper. No, for real. And I think it's time we talk about Kevin. We need to talk about Kevin. Do you know something? I want to tell you really quick Um, after we take a break. Uh-huh. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. Have you been keeping up with Drag Race at all? Not at all. Not at all. I did a podcast the other day where I had to watch the Tic Tac Luncheon. Oh, I can't yeah. believe they're still allowed to do the Tic Tac Luncheon. Oh, right. Because if we're talking about canceling eating disorder. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's got to be some, you have to preserve some level of like whimsy or irony or like something in that show. It can't all be like, let's all hug each other and think about God's light. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Speaking of Tic Tac Luncheon. Yeah. Tic Tac Luncheon. You want to get lipo? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk this through. But it's genetics, Mary. I'm the only person who, even when I was running the marathon, my yeah. fucking th- thighs were touching. Like, uh, no, 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 no. I think, I think that you should, it's, you should explore it. Like, and I'm like, I would never change my body for drag. Bitch, I'm in drag fucking five days a week. Like, yeah. if I have some opportunity to shrink my middle so that I don't have to fucking. Listen. Every day. I mean, I'm not enthusiastic about it, but I'm like, this level of corseting and stuff for what? No. Perceivably 20 no. more years. No. I'm like, this no. is crazy. No. What's worse for me? Like, coarsening, 
I mean, I don't have, and this is horrible. This is my own damage. I don't have a high level of respect for ultimate surging. Why? Do you think, because, why? Well, I always just feel like with body changing, there's the natural way to do everything. Mm-hmm. Like diet, exercise, whatever. Natural. You know? What does that even mean? But I, I, I know what like you mean. It's free. Mean. It's good for you. But I mean, watching, oh, and I'm like, God, if, if I was vanity and I could just put on a little yeah. and have that shape, yeah. that'd be great for me. What if you were Reba? I never think about changing my face really. No. Okay. Because you paint a mask on. Yeah. And also nothing about what I do to my face hurts me. Having to do this all the time hurts. It hurts. Yeah. It yeah, hurts. Yeah. I know. I know. Listen, I haven't worn a corset since um, halfway through our tour. Couldn't do it. Even if I have to give pig in a blanket from the side, I don't care. I'm, it's it's not worth it. It's like the 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 quality of life when I transitioned from that corset to no corset was so dramatic, mm-hmm. and it wasn't even that much of a change. <laughs> well, in order to see the difference, you really have to <laughs> you got to yank that thing, and then it's so painful. I, and I'm supposed to wiggle and move and gyrate and undulate. I don't know. I think you should go get lipo tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm going to take you to the doctor. I just fear like, um, you know. Being too hot, fly, and sexy that people want to no, fuck you all the when time. When you remove the fat cells, right? Mm-hmm. And then over time you gain weight. You'll gain everywhere but there. Yeah, but we're and not gaining that back. And then I'm going to be an back. old man with an hour no, no, shape, no, no, no. hourglass shape, which I think could be whack. No, we're not gaining weight back. We're not gaining weight back. Is there a way to get, you know, people go like, I just want a little. But they mean a lot. Is there a way to actually get a little? Ozempic. Yeah, but I don't need full body weight loss. I just want this to go away. And I think that's... This is like the thinnest I've ever been. Call the the doctors this more. Yeah. Talk about lipo. And I'm not talking about anybody else's bodies. I'm allowed to talk about my own body. No, no, no. We're allowed to talk about our own bodies. Come on. I've had Botox. I've had uh, fucking gel put into my lips, you know? I've had my asshole darkened, bleached, and then darkened again, you know? Yeah. Hair put on. Hair, well, um, hair plugs around the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they take. That's why I only have half an eyebrow because the other half's like around my asshole. Or I'm gonna have to get on testosterone. No, see, that's something I really don't think you should do. Well, the problem with getting on hormones is your body adjusts to them, and you're pretty much beholden to them. Because you ever stop taking them, your body's shocked. Yeah, because you're like your body's like we haven't made these in years. What do you want yeah. us to do about it? I think that. Well, I know that if you start taking testosterone, we're gonna be filming it. Wow, and you're gonna beat me up. I hope so, and I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the mouth though, and then the lips are bigger. Oh, okay. Now and we're that's talking. Now we're talking. I'm gonna squ- I'm gonna squeeze your little love handles to give you some good old fashioned. Um, we should start doing lipo. like Victorian makeup of like a pin prick of blood and then oh, blush, yeah. or like yeah. p- pinching the pinching the yeah, lips, yeah, yeah. pinching the cheeks. Yeah, and then uh, biting like biting the lips to get bloody for lipstick. Basically, just a lot of blood. A lot, lot of, blood. of blood, and then maybe it's the lead paint. But I'm scared of surgeries. Me too, Mary. And I have to go get one in three weeks, two weeks. It's time. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. Oh, by the time this comes out, I might have already had my hip replaced. Well, do you want to tell people what shows you're not going to be able to go to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm very sorry to say that I will not be going to Australia for um, Drag Expo. Mm-hmm. I had to cancel because I needed to get this thing um, dealt with pronto. Because not only is like, um, so I did a gig yesterday, uh, a seated gig mm-hmm. in drag. Oh, it's so painful. Just sitting with my legs crossed God. in drag and like walking is not a, like really a thing, especially not in heels. So it was just miserable. And um, it just it just needs to come out. There's no cartilage. There's no cartilage whatsoever. But that surgeon is so fucking hot, Mary. Yeah. He's so hot. I want him to just. Do you know about sometimes when they do surgeries, they forget instruments inside the person's body? Oh, yeah. You wake up with a speculum. I just have a pain right here. Yeah. Oh. oh, forceps. Yeah, those are my ants. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. I Wait, mean, you're, you're also, we are not doing Bald and the Beautiful not, yeah, LA. Um, and in LA, yes. I, because I thought, listen, I thought it would, might, might be cute to, because, you know, sometimes the recovery on the surgery is not so bad. I mean, I could be up and doing karate in four days. Who knows? But um, just to we be safe. We need you back on the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to pound the pavement. I got to do my beat. Mm-hmm. I got I to gotta, I gotta do my beat. But uh, I was thinking about doing it in a walker or a wheelchair, but I thought it's a little bit kind of distasteful. I don't know. It's just weird. And then Milwaukee. Milwaukee, unfortunately. You know, though, we got somebody inside of you. Yeah. That's kind of a serve. Miss Cracker. Alaska. Oh, that's fantastic. I was. She's great. She's, she's going to, you know, bring it. Oh, yeah. Unlike 
Some people. Some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I called Alaska personally and I said, I don't know if you've talked to Katya, but she's been going through a lot with, and thank you for like jumping on because yeah. the fans, it's an 18 plus night. The fans won't be disappointed. They yeah, love Alaska. She's so fabulous. She was at the gig yesterday. It was very fun. But people love to see you. And I was like, how are we going to find somebody like that? They're that excited about. And luckily Alaska's yeah. jumping in. That's that's wonderful. Thank you, Alaska. Thank you, Alaska, for doing what she couldn't. Now, when you're, this, are you, could we do the pod? Could I come to you and do I'm, the pod? Are you from kidding your bedside? me? Yes, I hope there's a drainage tube somehow, somewhere. You want to change my staples? Boop, I've been boop. seeing a lot of pictures of people getting FFS, facial feminization surgery. Yep. That recovery because it's full face. Oh, that's something. These totally poor women moment. are. No. These poor women are. Bloodied, yeah, yeah, bruised, yeah. swollen. Yeah. Your whole head looks like pumpkin a beat. head. It's pumpkin head. It's <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's cra- that's so my heart goes out to that process because you're like, I just want to look you beautiful. And you're like, but you had so that's always that fascinates me too because I see the you know, you see that after surgery, the next day it's like, how do you trust that the swelling will go down gradually enough where your your more beautiful self will be revealed like a sculpture? You hope. Well, and you just have to wait sometimes a month or more. A month. Is that my dog? This is my neighbor. That bitch. That the neighbor who bitch. says that I make noise with my no dogs and barely here. I well, hate you want me to go beat her up? I have, a, I have a pet peeve about if you move into an apartment, a condo, a living complex, mm. you're going to always hear someone. Yeah. You cannot. If The only way to have that happen is to live in an empty building. Now, you love to walk your beat. Now that you live up the hill, do you walk up and down that street? I certainly don't. Yeah, you're going to get hit by a car. Thank you. Um, just today, I mean, I won't bore you with the details, but it was wild and out with Nick Cannon today. Everybody was just wilding. I was like NASCAR. They were doing the Indy 500. They're doing, um, you know, <clears throat> Gorillas on the Mist. I have my little backyard. I go up and down the stairs. I go up and down the stairs. Of course, my poor little hip can't take much more than that. But. That's right. What am I asking? If you're walking the beat, you can't even walk. And driving is tough because of the um, flexion on my right. Yeah, it's a whole. It's a real. It's a real sad. It's not exactly sad a walkable story. neighborhood. Like those Hollywood Hills. No. Do you want to get struck by a vehicle? Walk well, through those hills. I cannot. I am every day. I am dumbstruck that there is not littered with corpses on those streets. Because <laughs> no, seriously, that's yeah, just from you, Mama. I the, the other day I was uh, driving home at like two p.m. And there are like three d- separate people were in the middle of the road talking to a truck or a car in the middle of the road, gabbing, gabbing. And when I pulled up to them, they acted like I had just barged into their living room and had interrupted them having sex. I was like, what is the level of entitlement happening here? You're in the middle of the road. Get the fuck out of here. You're in the middle of the road. You're in the middle of the road and you're like, glaring at me. And you know how they say like most car accidents happen like within a mile of the home or whatever. Mama. People who live up in those hills are used to driving. I have ridden with people who live up there. It's Cruella de Vil. Mama. Eyes blazing. Like, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. They're, they're spraying their teeth with silver and they're just careening around those corners. It's gross. Doesn't Charlize have no arm in that? Uh, she, lo- I think she does lose an arm. Yeah. I ran into Charlize's PR person, I believe. Get out of here, Charlize event, Africa. Charlize Theron. Yeah. And she loves Trixie Katya. Wait, I know that. Yeah. How do I know that? I don't know. I think maybe I, you just told me. Maybe I just told you. Yeah. That's how you I found think that's out. that's great. I had a lovely- Oh, Andrew meet. went to a party with her. Mm. She's very cool. Is she one of the girls? I'm she's assuming she's one of the girls. Very cool. Yeah. She's a, she's a good time gal. I went to dinner the other night with um, Sia. You had a lot of famous friends now. I feel very left out. Well, I, I feel like every time I tell a cool story- then I'm name dropping. Yeah. But don't you guys want to know about dinner with Sia? I will. So I, then whatever. I want you to draw. I want to throw all the names on the ground, but just maybe also invite me every once in a while. I know. You know, I like, you know, I'm dying to see what Lisa Vanderpump's rug tastes like. You know, I want to go and you see. You want to feed the swans. I want to feed the swans. Yeah. I want to like scoop some poisonous water out of that moat and splash it on somebody's face. You know, swans are, I know a little bit about birds. Swans can be prone Horrible. to aggression. Yeah, they're nasty. Nasty, rude. Even if I own them, I'd be a little scared of them. No, that's why they're in a moat. They're big. Yeah, they're big and they're ornery. And when like you when you get out of your car and you walk by them, they are a little like Yeah. What the, the wings fuck go do you want, bit. bitch? Exactly. They're like, this is my little circle, bitch. <laughs> yeah. That's their beat. Hello. Um and that shit. Right. That shit that gets all up in the the, the crooks of your sneaker. Yeah. Um 
one of Sia's neighbors is somebody that, thank God this person didn't come to dinner. Johnny Depp. Steve Carell. Because I would have lost my mind. Oh, you would have had an anger. Because you know how I feel about The Office. You would have squirted blood out of your eyeballs. And do you know how horrible it is for someone who, what, the Office was what, 15, 20 years ago now? Do you know how horrible it is for someone like I me don't... to launch into a... I'm sorry. I don't think it's that horrible. I would flip out. And he would be like, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I'd be like, I don't know. Ah! Like I would be gushing. I love the office so much. I, I love mean, it so much. People who become actors are not necessarily doing it because they hate being uh, loved or admired or adored or fawned over. You know what I mean? It's not like you're having dinner with OJ Simpson. You're like, Oh my God, I can't believe you killed your ex-wife. You know what I mean? Like no, I would the, talk about naked gun. Oh, that's true. I'm going to talk yeah. about murder. Who's Leslie Nielsen like? <laughs> um, oh, Leslie Nielsen. My old, I think I told you this. You my old roommate him? had, no, <laughs> my old roommate had a picture with Leslie Nielsen. I had a picture of him that he, he used to write Leslie Nielsen fan letters when he was a kid. Uh, and uh, Leslie Nielsen okay. sent him an eight by 10 that said like, keep laughing, Leslie Nielsen. And we had it framed in our house. Leslie. And he was like, if our house ever started on fire, that'd that's be the, the one thing, thing I'd you grab. Would get. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I love that. You know, I have a thing from Jodie Foster. Fun. <laughs> oh, I just got a good one. What? I just got it from Nev, an eight by 10 from Nev Campbell that says, Trixie, don't fuck with the original Nev Campbell. Oh, and I, I think for Halloween, that. I'm going to put it out with like candles, like a shrine. Mm -hmm. I'll be ghost face and I'll come in and I'll. Did you finally you see the new Scream? No. Mary. I don't want to watch it's it. It's so good. I don't believe you. Mary, you sit down and watch these Oscar bait movies, but you'll watch something actually good. I tried to watch The Whale. I couldn't do it. I can't watch the whale. Have you watched the whale. I watched the whale. Talk I about it. I watched all of it. I watched it on the plane to well, Australia and I watched it like this. I can't believe you watched that fucking mess. I'm, all I'm of it. very impressed. I'm very impressed. I have thoughts. Well, how far did you get in? About 15 minutes max. Well, it opens with the jerking off. So he was jerking off. I, 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 I paused the film. I had to, ch I had to shut the door to that spiritual realm once he was. Uh, imploring the missionary to uh, recite something as like a as a as a calming uh, mechanism. Just read it. Just, Just read, read it. it. Read it. And he's like, okay, uh, uh, fried wontons and pork fried rice is like reading a Chinese food menu or something or whatever. Well, we, in the beginning of the movie, we don't know what he's reading. It's, We're a, like, an, That's it's weird. an essay. It's a bad essay from his daughter or something, right? But we don't know it's from his daughter. We don't even know he's a teacher by that point. We're like, what yes, is we he do. Reading? Yes, we do. He's on we the do? Zoom. Was he's on the Zoom? Oh, we do. Yeah, right, he's right. on the Zoom. Um, teaching on the Zoom. By the way, I love this scene where he reveals himself on the camera and all the students start taking pictures and they all look shocked. Uh -huh. Like they've never seen a fat person before. Right. Maybe it's because I'm from the Midwest. I'm like, Mama, that wasn't that fat. That's <laughs> I like There's a lot of great big fat people in the US. But I'll say I think he played like fat to the level of dying. The constant respiration, the constant sweating. It was the whole movie you're like, ooh, he's on death store. He's yeah, sick. It was He's sick. It was, it was he was a, a gro like a, a grotesque, pathetic um f uh a character that you were supposed to be repulsed and like by, you know? Yeah. And I just thought it was so unnecessary. I'm just Well, this hey. is the other problem. It was a fine movie. It was fine. I laughed a few times when I shouldn't have laughed. I of laughed course. and he goes, I want to have done something in my life. I laughed. I laughed I laughed at that in the trailer because I was like, okay. Oscar nomination. Here That's we go. That's the problem I like, said to David Silver I yesterday. I said, you one thing right. You put a fat suit on him, give him brown teeth, make him ugly cry, and there's your Oscar. That's what I don't like about it. These no, words are so, supposed to it's mean so something. It's so craven and it's fucking, so. And, and like, it's so like, they say it's her year. Do you know what I mean? Of it's course. so that. And you know what? The thing that I'm so surprised that people con like consistently, and, and you can tell these actors really buy into the bullshit. They really, really buy into the bullshit. And I'm not even saying he's not a good actor. No, no, me neither. I'm just saying, this is the movie? And I know. This is the Oscar I movie? I know, I know. But like when Julia Roberts won- Give mommy Oscar, bitch. Yeah, when, but they'll do the the Oscar. We should have gave you the Oscar, you know, five years ago. So, but you were in a movie this year, so we're going to do it now. Well, he yeah. also, a few years ago, and this is like, he did a very open interview about sexual assault that he experienced yeah. in the industry. Yeah. And so we are we know that the industry has done him horribly wrong. Yeah. As they have many actors. Yeah. But it was just like, this isn't the movie. Although Miss Hong Chow, Miss Hong Chow, always you turned it off before later when she has her like. Yeah. Well, I would rather see Miss Chow in anything else. Watchmen. You know, I watched that again in Australia. The whole series. Um, oh, so she was in. Um, um, you watched the whole series again. Again, it's only eight episodes. 
That's true. Rip through it. Or maybe it's nine. So good. I find something so new every time. Good. It's so fucking good. Um, she, uh, she later has an interview, like a, like a, she talks to the missionary mm-hmm. later in the movie about, you find out who she is. She's a nurse. Yeah. But she's like, she's the sister of the former lover, right? Yeah. And the former lover, uh, killed himself because he joined that church. So the person prophetizing oh, is from the exact church that made this guy so depressed and gay. Oh, wow. So this is a real feel-good film. It's a very sad... You didn't see the ending. Where he goes into heaven. Mary, he walks the ending, towards the light. She stands there and reads her, po- her, her, her essay. Sadie Sink. Sadie Sink, who's so mean to him the whole movie. I, don't, I mean, yeah. I understand that, like, whatever, that's your dad. I don't, I don't, I don't get into... S- what now you're my dad where have you been i never buy into that uh-huh. like people being shitty if he really is a stranger then you shouldn't be so shitty to him like you know what that's a really good point that's a really i don't good buy point. into like yeah and where were you dad <clears throat> yeah you Although just there's one part where she calls him them. a faggot which i think is pretty fierce that's cool um, i love when justin long says in barbarian what's up faggot love it <laughs> love it i love a barbarian when he's uh, on the internet and he goes yeah hell yeah bitch, bitch. <laughs> So funny. Justin Long is an icon. He, really he should have been in the whale. Do you see Tusk? Oh, no, that's something. Honey baby, that's up your aisle. Okay, 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 okay. So so give me a little give me a little morsel. Give me something to go um give me a little uh, warm on the hook. There's a guy who um Okay, stop me. I'll stop you right there. I wanna I don't wanna know anything. I wanna sure? go into it bl- Yeah, because okay, I heard gotta you watch it. It's the second person crazy. tell me it's really good. It's oh I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying you'll like it. Is Elizabeth Shoe in it? Uh, I don't remember. Who's in it? Who's in it? Justin Long. Oh, is it? Oh, I think it is Elizabeth. Sh- no. Well, he has a girlfriend. I don't remember who it is. You fuck with Yellow Jackets? Of course. I only watched the first episode of the new season, though. Okay. I'm up to only, only in two. It opened with that Sharon Bennett and song, 17, which I... That's my goon. Oh, that's yeah. my stand on a rooftop and smoke and cry song. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. even smoke. Yeah. And I can't get on my roof. It's great. that Those girls are turning the party. Yeah. They're turning it. Juliet Lewis. Yeah. Fierce. Eat it. Christina Ricci eat reaching it. yeah eat it's, it eat her it. talking to that parrot uh-huh eat it <laughs> I only saw episode one though it's good it's I, I've only saw she it. ate that ear yeah she sure did Miss Jackie love that we get Jackie beyond the grave as um mm. like visions yeah love wait to see what happens with Miss Little Dead Jackie in the next episode Jackie she gonna get fucked I'm not saying a word um I knew they're gonna fuck the dead body um ja- yeah Jackie last night in in LA they did a stage reading of Jennifer's body. Oh, I just watched that recently for the first time. Did you like it? Yeah, I it's thought fun. it was fun. It was like a clueless horror movie. The girl who plays Jackie mm-hmm. in the stage reading played Needy. Amanda Seyfried's character. Yeah. And the girl from Oh, Rachel Sennett from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies okay. played Jennifer. Okay, for the stage reading. And David went to it last night. He said it was good. What happened to Jennifer Fox or Jennifer uh, Megan Fox? Megan Fox. She didn't want to come back for the stage reading. I'm sure. No, no, no. I mean, not just in general. Has she's she been with in Machine Gun Kelly? She's vibing. But it, 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 he just cheated on her. I think her she has something. enough money. Okay, okay, okay. okay People I'm get just, that I'm rich just, and they're just like whatever. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it's so sexist and stupid of me to assume that a woman's so beautiful, whatever she'll you know not want to be in the public eye because she is truly stunning. So I know. Like otherworldly gorgy. Is she from the Midwest? She kind of has a Midwest accent. I don't when she know. says Megan. Hey, she, Megan. Her name is Megan, but she goes Megan. Which I don't is kind know. of I don't know. I really have a hard time She's with the name Megan. Megan. Do you, what what's your preferred spelling? Do you like an M E G H A N? Who's or, doing the H? Some people are doing Try the H. Try hard bitches. Try hard bitches. What about M E G Y N? M E I G H G E H N. Megan. <laughs> M A Y uh, hyphen G H Y N N E. Totally. Megan. Yeah. <laughs> McGean. Yeah. Did you see Megan? I sure didn't. And we already talked about it. We did. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, Megan me too is coming up and it's, um, it's all animatronic dogs. No, it's not. No, it's not. I've been watching Will and Grace. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like something to put on. I like to put something on while I do my makeup. Okay. I like to put TV shows on. Will and Grace is so good. Yeah, I mean, I know it's gay, and I know it's a little like tryhard millennial to like like something that old. Well, yeah, Karen Walker's fabulous though. So fabulous. Yeah, and Miss Sean Hayes. Oh, she's she's so she's she so, eats. She's she comes in every episode. I believe she wasn't even out. Like I don't think she what? was allowed to be out. Okay, which is so interesting. And then Eric McCormick's not gay. Oh, that's which is amazing. Right. He's not gay. Yeah, and um, who plays who plays Grace? Deborah Messing. Deborah Messing, 
is amazing. Yeah. She's really good at that character. So good. Yeah. They're all good. It's just flawless. Yeah. I mean, I'm on season three. We haven't even gotten to Beverly Leslie late. Beverly Leslie yet, but when Leslie Jordan comes on, it's also oh, it gets crazy. And then also, and then Brian Jordan Alvarez, right? He's in the reboot. Oh, he's the reboot. Okay, yeah. And then who else? Mini Drivers in it. Mini Driver. Yeah, and then I think Natasha Leone's and uh, Molly Shannon. Oh man, as okay. like their crazy neighbor. The show's I, so good. Molly Shannon is so fierce. In the first episode of the show Divorce on HBO, she eats that entire fucking thing. She chomps on Sarah Jessica Parker's heels, her shins, her knees. Little bony legs, her hair, everything. She eats up the whole scene. It's so mm -hmm. fabulous. I did a show once with a drag queen named Sarah. Sarah. Jurass no, her name was Jurassic Parka. <laughs> it's a reach, right? It's Christina Ricci. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's all we have for today. Would you like to tell them where you can find some lovely skin products to use? Well, <laughs> go over to Evian because that's all I'm, you know. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's just water. It's just water. A little salty, Evian, don't you think? Yeah, my skin just feels tight, tight. and sunburned. Yeah. It feels horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to get lipo at the same time you get your leg done. Let's go under the knife together. Yeah. Bogo. You'll love my doctor. He's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>